Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia with another Thursday Real Life Stock Review. Trust you guys are doing absolutely amazing. The free week is almost over guys. If you have not yet joined, hop on over to reallifetrading.com. I'll leave the link in the description below and try and take advantage of all the analysis and all the greatness from all the traders all over the world and help us enrich lives. You're amazing. Let's take a look at the SPY today. Uh, not a whole lot happening. Cute little bearish inside day candle. Um, now from here, most likely, I do think we will bounce and go higher. If you take a look at the short term moving averages, we barely touched the we barely touched the 10 EMA and went lower we basically bounced as soon as we hit it and um pretty much the trend is bullish so from here i would continue to stay bullish um i don't see anything overly bearish right now i know we do have a little bit of above average volume at this current moment but nothing overly scary markets don't look like this i mean People think this might be a double top, but I don't think it is. I think we're still going to go a little bit higher. Um, my target is still 305 and I am sticking with it. Here's the Dow Jones and not a whole lot happening as well. Small little sell off, but we have got some nice lower wicks coming in and we're almost at the 20 EMA on the daily. So Dow Jones looking bullish, a little bit of sideways action and it definitely is expected. Here's the IWM. Now, I actually I actually spoke about this on Tuesday right here on that bullish candle saying it was a glorious hammer of Thor and I do expect us to go higher. We absolutely crushed higher that the next day um huge bullish candle if you did get to play it um well done it was definitely expected a nice little breakout and obviously with this bullish candle uh, with a massive bullish candle like this there is obviously going to be some sort of selling coming in but all in all iwm does look like it probably will this is probably going to be the retest and most likely will potentially go higher Here's Tesla, beautiful gap and go this morning. I actually missed this one. Um, I'll take a look at the five minute, but I'll show you how you could have played it. So as soon as we, as soon as we opened, we had this bearish, oh, sorry, we had this um, beautiful support here beautiful support here with some on the lower wicks and as soon as we broke below these lower wicks we came down retested these exact lows and if you take a look at the highs of these two candles they're one penny away from being an absolute tweezer top pattern so if you did get to play tesla right here on the retest i i applaud you you did a lot better than me who completely missed it um, but Tesla was a great gap and go and it was an absolute killer trade in the day trading floor this morning. Here's Boeing, ticker symbol BA. And this one also was just a continuation from yesterday's earnings. Um, as you can see here, you know, yesterday we had this support right here. Oops, draw a straight line, Ricky. Had this support right here and as soon as that broke, we came up, retested, just went slowly down, faded sideways, and then crumbled lower um, yesterday. So BA, um, one to keep your eyes on. If you take a look at the daily, we it was a retest gap, okay? Black candle gapping down. But if you take a look at the weekly chart, we're coming very close to the 100 simple moving average. And we have bounced off here a couple of times before. So best thing you can do, plan ahead, plan your trade and mitigate your risk. And I mean, the probability of this trade working is about 50, 50, but I mean, it has bounced here before. So me personally, I'm going to be trying this one more again. That's for sure. 
here's Raytheon and beautiful retest gap this morning. If you take a look at the five minute, you'll see the retest right here. Boop. Okay. And we did have a nice little morning star esque pattern. And if you did miss this, you could have taken, uh, you could have taken it again later on in the afternoon right here to go bullish right now still looks bullish. I do think that this is a good gap, a really nice gap. We did, we did gap above these resistance levels right here. Um, we didn't quite clear these highs, but most likely we may retest and definitely go higher. Here's the, the one that I fumbled this morning on 3M and I'll show you exactly how I played it. I, I set this one up as a fade, sorry, on the daily. I set this one up as a fade as I could see that we were, I've still got my lines here drawn. drawn. So you can see I had this blue line drawn at the 100 simple and the red at the 200. So if it broke higher, this was my target, but most likely this was going to fade. Um, so I did, I was going to set this up pre-market straight out the gate and I was just literally a couple of minutes too late and it just plummeted straight at open. Um, so we gapped up right to the 100 and as you can see on the one minute, really, really didn't leave, um, much chance to get in right there. You really had to short it straight out the open and then it just fell a nice, you know, $4. And then the next retest that happened was right over here and then it went lower. How I played it on the three minute. Okay. I'll show you here. So I actually got in as soon as we had this big push up, I was like, sweet, this is good because we were coming very close to the 10 um, right here. So we're coming very close to the 10. I was, I, I just wanted in. So I personally got in bearish right here with a stop. I was like, Oh, the 10 will probably be around 185.60. Okay. And as you can see, the high of this candle was 185.60. So I did get stopped out pretty much five, six minutes later. Um, was a little bit annoyed, but that's okay. But to watch this, I'd, and it was on this on this minute right here where I saw this little evening star pattern. Uh, this little evening star pattern happened right here at the 50 EMA. Um, I did look at this and go, this still looks like it's going to go bearish. And I basically just chickened out and missed out on an absolute winner. Can't win them all, guys. Uh, 3M was an absolute glorious fade. And if you... Uh, faded it better than I did, then well done to you. Let's take a look at the All Lords. And I did say this, guys, back on Tuesday. I said next, uh, I said tomorrow went being Wednesday. Um, sorry, it was going to be Thursday here in Australia that we would reach an all-time high in the All Lords. And that is exactly what we did. It was all over the news. Um, super exciting. Finally making some new highs about time only it's only been a decade um but all is good trend is still bullish uh we do have currently a tweezer top pattern on the daily chart so we may just we're probably going to just pause here for a couple of days and then we'll just kind of let let the emas uh let the emas catch up and then hopefully go higher here's anz I'll take a look at the long-term moving averages. Um, nice little inside bearish candle right now. Not at any major support or resistance levels. Um, most likely we will just pause here on the banks um, as we come into earnings. Uh, but pretty much ANZ could break either way. If we break below this candle, I do expect us to come back down to the 100 and then bounce. Um, but if we do break above, I see us going higher. Here's CBA. And I have been saying that most likely we will chop around here for a little while. So get ready to sell some premium. Um, but we have got earnings right around the corner, as you can see here. So CBA is in a bullish trend. Very exciting. Um, be bullish on the markets. Here's BHP. 
And I did mention back on in the review back here saying that if you miss this, you will still get another chance as it will most likely double bottom uh, like this. And you'd get a better chance to buy at about $40. It did double bottom. Um, most likely it's still going to chop around here for a little bit. We did have a uh, retest gap yeah, uh, two days ago. And we did create a nice little lower low from, from the previous uh, gap down. So from here, I do expect us to chop around a little bit, but just look to buy low, sell high right here around 40, 50 or even $40 would be an absolute amazing buying location on BHP. Here's Woolworths. Wow. Coming up into earnings in uh, end of August. Um, pretty much if you just take a look at the weekly chart, we are coming into some pretty heavy resistance right here. Um, so if you are in Woolworths, just probably look to lock in some profits very, very shortly. The trend is bullish. I have been saying that for a while now. Um, but as we do come into earnings, just maybe look to lock in some profits on Woolworths. But overall, looking good. We are getting a little bit of a slowdown here, a bit of selling. It did gap up and we did close a little lower than the previous day. So from here, just keep staying bullish. We did get a lot of volume coming in yesterday. So maybe just take, keep your eyes, uh, keep your eyes peeled on Monday for a quick little sell off. Um, but then obviously look to buy the dip as we come into earnings and maybe take some profits just before that'd be really, really good. Here's APT. And this was one that I did speak about saying this is an amazing time to buy off the 100. Beautiful bounce off the 100 and you're probably going to get another chance uh, again. So I do expect us to kind of chop around here for a little bit. Uh, so if you did miss the, if you did miss the dip buy on APT, don't worry too much. It'll happen again. And here is Santos, ticker symbol STO. We are currently struggling to get above this um, downward trend line probably due to oil kind of not going super bullish at the moment. Uh, we do have a nice level of support right here and we, uh, it is a very good level to buy. So if you are looking to buy, just probably look to buy around, you know, 60, 60, uh, $6.82, $6.80 roughly. Um, and that is a very nice buying location. Speaking of oil, um, here's crude. And we are getting some weakness, guys. I did say this in my last review that I do expect, well, I, I do, I would like us to come a little bit lower as this is a beautiful, beautiful double top. Here's your break and here's your retest of the neckline and boop, let's go lower. That's what I say. US oil, I am keeping my eyes on it. I, if we do get down to $52, I'll be personally getting into some leveraged ETFs um, to take, uh, to take bullish. So keep your eyes peeled on a amazing buying opportunity on oil very, very shortly. Here's gold closed out my gold position just before the ECB meeting interest rate meeting. And just because I got the new PM, I wasn't overly confident. Um, the measured moves were really, really nice on the four hour chart. Um, I did post them right here. Uh, this this move right here um, matches up with this move here, this move, uh, this move here. And I was expecting, I am still expecting us to bounce here. Um, so I probably will look for another entry maybe tonight um, on gold as we are looking quite bullish. Wow, perfect. Um, so I'll look to take gold long again around here, but gold does gold does look bullish, guys. If you take a look on the daily, this was a beautiful retest uh, of this downward wedge, so of that cute little wedge candle uh, wedge pattern there. So stay long on gold, guys. Looks absolutely amazing. Here's the Aussie dollar. And I am absolutely kicking myself that I missed this short. 
I hope a lot of you guys did get to catch it. I have been speaking about it for so long. Um, it is just still going lower. So from here, where do I think we go? We do have a, we do have our first level of support right here. It's not a massive support. Um, personally, I think it will go back down to about 68, 69, and that will be a nice time, a nice level to cover if you are in short. Um, and, and take profits and we probably will get a, a quick little bounce there but i yeah i wish i did take that that's okay not to worry aussie dollar i have been saying it's going short and there it goes it is going a lot lower here's gbp aud and this is just absolutely setting up gloriously i have been speaking about this one for a while now that i did expect us to break this trend line and i do like this particular um, candle with the upper wick. Um, however, the high and the low is about a 120 pip range. So personally, I do want a, a I do want a tighter stop. I don't want to have a 120 pip stop. So I, I am looking for an acute little inside day candle here, and maybe a little bit, a little bit another higher wick. But I will be looking to take this, uh, this thing short for with a stop. Uh, with an entry below this candle and hopefully a stop, you know, just above here somewhere, if I can get it. Um, and if you just take a look, the reason why I do like this, guys, is this is a nice little one, two, three, four, five. I have said that this is most likely going to be half back here. I said that this is about halfway through the wave count. Um, and I wanted it to break this trend line and retest. We are getting that. I have asked for it, so I need to keep an eye on it and hopefully look to cover back down here at 174. So I will be looking to take profits um, down here if we can get there and if it sets up nicely. If we do, however, start to break these highs, I'm probably just going to cancel, cancel it and move right on. That's all I've got for you today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back next week on Tuesday. And for everyone who has joined for uh, joined Real Life Trading for the free week, thank you for helping us enrich lives and thanks for supporting us. We're absolutely thrilled. And everyone who has already joined Real Life Trading from the free week, you're amazing. We cannot wait to continue to trade with you in the future. And we will see you all next week. Take it easy, guys. Love, 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 trade it. And bye.